Hey guys, we're in Acts 18. I'm Clint Paschal with the Waters Church and we're doing the Bible together. There's a couple things that I want to bring out about Acts 18. Before I say that, wasn't Acts 17 so good? Acts 17, man, just a greatness. So in Acts 18, I want to bring out a couple of things um, in verse 6 and then starting in verse 24. So verse 6, man, you see this crazy emotional Paul and he is fed up. So Paul's in Macedonia, which is Mediterranean Sea, it's sort of north of Greece. And he just keeps having these Jewish people come against him. You know, Paul, it's not like Paul's out there starting a new religion. Paul is worshiping the Jewish Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. It's a Jewish thing. He's always talking about his Jewish heritage and these Jewish people keep coming against him. And he does this crazy thing in verse six, he shakes out his clothes. That's what it says. He shook his clothes and he was like, that's it. I'm done with y'all. Your blood is on your own heads. I'm out of here. I'm going to stop delivering this truth to the Jewish people. Take that. I shook my clothes out at you. Your blood's on your own head. Forget y'all. I'm going to the Gentiles. Wow. Paul. I mean, when I get to heaven, I'm going to be like fist bumping Paul. I'm like, dude, Acts 18 verse 6, you shook your clothes out at him? I mean, I'm sure that's a Jewish, you know, <laughs> ritual thing. It just makes me laugh, man. I think I'm going to try that. Next time I really get fed up with somebody, I'm going to shake my clothes right out at them. Um, it's what he did. Verse 6 is pretty cool. I just love that Luke, Luke is writing it down. Sorry, it just makes me laugh that Luke is like, and he shook out his clothes. And I wonder, I don't know. I find part of the Bible to be very entertaining. But it's a very serious point that's being made. Paul is done. He is so... He is fed up with this uh, continued conflict that he gets and this pushback that he gets. And uh, yeah, I mean, you really see that side of him. And I think it's pretty cool. And I'm loving the fact that he's like, all right, I've done everything I can do to the Jewish people. It's on to the Gentiles. Um, so that's uh, Acts 18, starting in verse 6. And then I'm sorry, I'm looking down verse 24. So in verse 24, you have a very, very cool display of wisdom from two people named Aquila and Priscilla. Now, Aquila and Priscilla were converts, and they're from Rome. And what happened is probably in Acts chapter two, where you had uh, Pentecost, and all those people came, you know, they they got saved and they came back. There's a real good chance that Aquila and Priscilla were converted to Christianity by some of the people that came from Pentecost in Jerusalem and traveled back to their homes and started evangelizing. So Aquila and Priscilla are two powerhouse church leaders um, that Paul meets up with. We are now in Ephesus, which is like modern day Turkey. We say that a lot, don't we, in churches? Modern day Turkey, modern day Turkey. Mediterranean Sea, just trying to give you a perspective here. And so in Ephesus, Aquila and Priscilla are working closely with Paul and they come across this man named Apollos. Now Apollos is a Jewish believer but here's something very specific that Acts 18 says. He only knows of the baptism of John. Okay, what does that mean? If he only knows of the baptism of John, then he does not believe yet that Jesus is Messiah. That's the key. He, he knows this Bible. He knows the Hebrew scriptures. He's reasoning with people about what's coming. He's excited about the baptism of John the Baptist, but he doesn't know about the ministry of Christ. So he is like in the synagogues, he is leading, he is reasoning with people. Well, Aquila and Priscilla are believers in Christ and they get the grace of Jesus and they're listening to this very talented um, and charismatic leader named Apollos and they listen to him and instead of uh, kind of beating him over the head with the fact that he doesn't know what he's talking about um, because he's sort of trying to gain in the ground and, and, and be around this new faith but he's not getting it right, they pull him aside. They pull him into their own sort of situation and they say hey uh, Apollos we want to give you the full meal deal we want to teach you about Jesus and they do and they didn't publicly I don't know shame him or embarrass him they pulled him into private privacy and they talked to him about it and then it goes very public again the end of verse 8 chapter 18 you see Apollos um, 
he is out among the masses and he is leading people to Jesus and he's doing he's doing mission trips. In fact, he's about to go to this little island in the Mediterranean called Achaia and the, the, the brothers are encouraging him, go, you can do this. And he does it and he, he leads a lot of people to Jesus. And it's just really cool. Aquila and Priscilla show us, they give us a really good uh, example of what to do when we're talking to somebody who might not have everything right. Um, we don't publicly shame them. We don't put them down. We pull them into our homes. We pull them into our own uh, private situation, you know, not where everybody can see. And we reason with them and we teach them things. And we don't publicly disgrace them. That's just not the way of Jesus. And Aquila and Priscilla got that. And it's very cool that they did. So that's Acts 18. A lot of good stuff in there. Love the fact that Paul was like a clothes shaker. And then uh, you got Aquila and Priscilla showing us a good example of how to treat people when they might not have everything right with a lot of dignity and with a lot of class. And clearly the end result was a lot of people got saved which is just beautiful hey let's just keep on doing what these people did they kept on making jesus famous and they're so good at it hey thanks so much for doing the bible together we'll see you next time